Just for, you know. The giggles! Right, hello and welcome to this freight scenario. You will need a route timetable to accomplish this scenario successfully. Tommy McCroomy, thank you for the follow. This timetable will pop up right in the next message after you close this one, and you can always bring it back by clicking on the envelope icon on the HUD whenever you need it. Unfortunately, you need to be in the F4 HUD to do that. Please make sure you are familiar with operating the DB Class BR155 safety systems as well as signalling prior to running this scenario. <laughs> <sighs> And this, folks, is the timetable. So uh, we're starting up near the top here. Uh, we'll find out what the dis what the distance is in a minute, and that'll tell us where we are. But this is the forty. Uh, starting off at uh, Mosul. Mosul Ice is where we'll be shortly. And what you can do is you can just bring it back up by just popping that message. Let's uh, headlight off. Turn those off. We have ability to go, so we shall. Hey Tommy, what are we doing? Uh, we're starting off on the BR-155 with uh, Colorado Trier. Then we're going to do Railway Roundabout or the USATCS 160 and then we're going on Chicago Racetrack to do a bit of switching. Hey Johnny Rotten, welcome. I thought I burnt all the time, so it was, I tried. Yanchu Dover apparently stops me. Because every time I think I burned it, I press that button and up it comes. And I have to burn another one. Right, so that was green yellow with an expect stop. So we're limited to 40 anyway. display the uh, frame rates are in the top right so we're getting 50 at the moment 49 Like my PZB, my my uh, alert thing is switched on. Let me turn that off. Good. I should now not sound any more sounds. Right. So uh, next signal was down as being a yellow. Is the press be a press one five five available? Uh, yeah, I believe uh, I don't know actually. I think it's uh, part of Cologne Complaints, isn't it, Simon? Why is there such a hog? Because of the detail, because um, of the way it's been built, the detail and so forth. Pour up to the signal. We didn't get the 500 hertz, which is interesting. Maybe we didn't quite get close enough for the 500 hertz. While that's doing. Cheers, folks. Right, so that's an, a reduced speed signal. He says, smelling coke everywhere. Dang it. Now I need to mop up coke that's been spilled.
Right, let's focus on what we're doing here now, shall we? <clears throat> what we're looking for is a hectometer post. 500 hertz, not an approach to every signal. Oh, okay, thanks, Jan. No pressure. Jan's only watching, folks. Maybe I need to focus on what I'm doing and not worry about the spill drink. <laughs> Right, we've got an expect stop. Right, so we're at two six. So if I just pop the uh, pop the plan up, two six puts us coming into the seventy, if not already. So the two six, I think, puts us here. So um, we're about there on the plan. So we'll be getting the seventy in there. But in the meantime. That's an expect stop. We're still meant to limit it by the 40. Welcome, Haddock. I can't remember, I don't think you were, you, you were acknowledge the ones with the white dots, but. Any other time I don't acknowledge it because I think I don't have to, I'm wrong. So I'm erring the aside of assuming. Because uh, you, you can't be wrong for acknowledging too much, is what I found. <laughs> you can only be wrong for acknowledging too little. Am I going to change the HUD to F3? If I change the HUD to F3, then I lose the ability to call up that timetable, but I guess I can call it up when I want it. Put a little bit of power on. We've got 70, but we're also approaching a red. Or we were, anyway. Green light, which means we won't get a 500 hertz here. 1000 hertz is out, so release from monitoring. Seventy going up to eighty. Green light is good. Green light is good. That's the 80 limit marker. Why does the train have a steering wheel? A lot of European trains use a uh, steering wheel for the controller. Everything's gone to pot. Oh dear, what's wrong, Haddock? Coming up on the 80. Train boy, no, I didn't make that change yet. I shall have to remember to do that before we do the next TPTS. And there's the 90. Point oh, five six. We've got reduced speed here coming up, wait for it to not tap down. Brakes on. Acknowledge that. Six point oh forty limit is the next signal. You got transport fever, William? Awesome. It's a really good game. Don't know if 
I need to acknowledge that. No, okay. <laughs> All right, 40 with a reduced speed coming up at the next signal as well. There's no ZS indicator, so. Need to acknowledge that. It's looping us. Oh, there's a talent stuck up here by the looks of it. Why only three scenarios? If you add them up, they add up to three, three plus, uh, just over three hours. Got another expect reduction coming up, so just bring it back up to the forty. Yellow. Uh, it looks like a red is next. That needs acknowledge. Is that PZB? Or that'll be a 2000, won't it? Just press acknowledge anyway. You know, just because. That looks distinctly red up ahead. Five hundred hertz. Hey there, good proper mail. Welcome. Alright, we're at 8.2. When we stop at this, we'll have another look at the timetable, see where we're at. Right, we're at 8.2, which puts us somewhere in this general area. We've just been through Winningen. That's behind us. In fact, we're probably in that area here, aren't we? Just got to wait for permission to go. Quick look at the map, let's just see what's going on ahead of us. Tempted to press tab. Oh, we've got approval. I presume I'm going to have to befell this override through it. Is it? Out of the 500 hertz. Yep, this is a freight train. We're stopping at a signal, which coincidentally was at a platform. I always feel nervous about what I do after I've gone through. I've gone through a red signal, so I don't have. I don't know what the next signal is. The speed limit goes up to one ten. 
And at this point, I'm relying on the fact that my ETA at the destination is going skyrocketing upwards to tell me I should be accelerating. Point A. Preferably near a signal. Yeah, okay, baked bean. I'll just get right on that. I love the way that bridge is coming out of the cloud, out of the fog. That's awesome. Scout, uh, scout geek, uh, I'll do some run-by shots in a minute. The German scenario is really difficult to get out of sight because you've got to really focus on what you're doing. A moment's lapse in concentration can be enough to uh, bring it all crashing down. China clay for export, good route. Well, I quite enjoy it. I'm probably the wrong person to ask. I would ask the audience, the viewers and see what they say. Right, we've got a green voice signal, so let's get up to line speed. Someone remind me what PZBM is. Is it 120? I think I'm going to stick to 100. You know, 125, that's what I thought. I thought it was 125, and I normally go 120 in a 125. Right, we seem to be doing okay at the moment. Got green lights. Well, max at the moment is 110, but... Coburn Gondorf is a go via. We're not stopping there, but we'll obviously will need to pay attention to the signals. Green light. Yeah, this loco looks really nice. In fact, this, is, this route looks really nice in winter. I really like the treatment they've given the uh, the winter on this route. It's very nice. down expect stop no way you're kidding me oh that's the white signal <laughs> guess it's not quite so urgent Remember rightly on these ones, I've got to be doing 25 as I hit the 500. Is that right? Sorry, I'm still half a, half a kilometer away. <laughs> oh, I got positive points, folks. Just 
and I've no idea why, given how late I am. Need some root knowledge on this, you're not kidding. There's the 500. 50k when you hit 500 and then to below 30. Is that because I'm a freight train it's different? My dose don't look like the numbers I remember, that's all. I thought it was 45 and 25 I remembered, but I might just be remembering wrong. That has got a flashing white light, so I am going to pull back up to 25 and uh, override my way through it. through that. 500 hertz is gone so we can push the speed back up a bit. In fact we're out of all monitoring now. GWR that sounds awesome. signals. I need a cheat sheet for PZB on one of the monitors. That is a cracking idea. I need to do that. Oops. Oh no, that's a boar signal. <laughs> Panicked. Does that apply to me? Uh, maybe not. But we're on a 40 limit anyway. This is cool. I like it. We're swapping lanes, we're getting sped up, slowed down. Brilliant. Talk about working for your paycheck, or your cup of tea in my case. Right, we're wrong line running now. Where's our hectometer? We're at 16.8. Let's just have a quick refresh on the on the guide here. 16.8 puts us here, I guess. Yeah, just towards here. Um, I think these mean wrong line running speeds. I guess there's no wrong line running speeds on these ones, which I'm confused by. But never mind. Right. Mosel Kern is next. Oh, we shouldn't have gone the other way. What have we got there? Nothing I can tell us because it's the wrong way round. I've got no signals for quite some time. It did say actually it was 100 on this section, didn't it? My screen keeps flickering. Is anybody else seeing that? So, 
Let's get the new hectometer. 18.2. So let's just check again. Here we are up to 18.2. So at 20.8 we're dropping to 90. So let's be aware of 20.8 dropping to 90. Train Sim Jonas 2, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. In fact, I'm just going to power it down now. Twenty point something, we're getting a speed drop. Oh, I'll tell you what, the frame rate in these parts is good. 88 FPS. Wow. 19.2. It's a, a route a driver's timetable. Uh Fab Diva. Which so it's less about the times. Was of mine, good. It tells the driver how to actually drive the line, where all the speed limits, tells them about gradients and all sorts of things. The art of precision and wrong line running. No, German railways, the art of precision, even on the wrong line. It doesn't matter where they do it, it's still accurate and good. Any minute now, we're going to get the 90, right? Yeah, and is this why you need the timetable? Because this bit where you're not going to get notified of where speed limits are, so you have to know the timetable to... Um, to... Uh, there we go, so we've just dropped to 90. So you need the timetable to know that. So let me bring the timetable up. Where are we now? We are at 21.2. So at 21.2, we're coming down here. We're in the 90 section at the moment. So this is where the heck the um, kilometer part marker is. So at 22.3, the speed is dropping to 80. So these are the place names. Um, this is the distance. These are the speed limits. Uh, these are the speed limits. I think if you're on the right line and the speed limit, I think if you're on the wrong line. I can't remember something like that. Um, and I can't remember what these ones are off the top of my head. Minimums? No, minimum minimum grades? Oh, I don't know. So anyway, 22.3, we've got an 80 kmh starting, so we'll need to get ready to drop down for that. It's these things, by the way. That thing that said 21.6, you get one of them every point two. There's another one there, 21.8. So that's well, I'm, that's what's telling me where I am. And then this is down here. So we're at 21.8 at the moment. So 22.3, I need to be down to 80. So let me just drop a little brake on and slow down. the 80. Boom. Alright, having got to the 80, uh, we have now got to there, so we're going to get pumped up to 24.1 we change, so I'm not too worried about the next while, because we're going to be speeding up rather than slowing down. I'm hauling cargo, train boy. Look. Oh. Damn you, chap. Literally just looked over for a moment. How do you get the F envelope to appear on the F4 HUD? So that's done by registering a recorded message. If you register a um, recorded message, then uh, yeah, that's how that works. To get those messages to pop up. I think I covered that. 
in my tutorial. I hope he's got my score was never going to be um, positive on this. I'm running way too slow to get a good score. If I can get to the end, having mostly understood what I'm doing, I could consider that a large victory. 23.2 is our distance. Remember we're in restricted monitoring. Can't come out of restricted monitoring until I see a signal. That timetable is really... Now I'm getting the hang of reading the timetable because I've never actively read one in anger. I sort of roughly knew what they were. But now I'm sort of reading it like this. It's actually, as you say, it's a whole new level. It's awesome. Hey, James, welcome. I know I was doing so well, wasn't I? Let me stop paying attention and looking over at chat. Was that a speed restriction that I, I missed? It is a speed restriction that I missed. Loving it. Loving it, Jan. Awesome. He was a bit dangling his legs in the forefoot. Wow. That was a TSR warning that I missed, clearly. Good job I stayed at 40 kmh, really. That's the end of it. Yeah, this one's in Germany. We're out of restriction now, though, which is good. AX9012. Right. I believe we're in good shape to speed up. We have a signal coming up. I would, does that a signal apply to me, I wonder? It's got PZB on it. It does. So is that meaning? So is that that double yellow over on the right-hand side that applied to me, or was there something else that applied to me? I have no idea. I guess I should expect to stop. What am I treating myself for for Christmas? Hopefully I'm going to get myself a new chair. Oh, there was a little sign. Okay, I've got no idea what that sign was. Oh, right. NE2 Vorsigna Nautav. I've got no idea what that means. I've got the level whites. This is presumably us getting rooted back onto the right hand side then. Yep. Right, we've got a green yellow, currently got 40 kmh. Is that a ZS? 
it is 50 kmh. that as we go through there. pulled off to the right, I guess we must be, yeah, this line is blocked. Big red sign there. Loving it. Hey there, Isildur. Ooh, we have shenanigans on the track. Right, so this is green yellow. Is that the 50? Yeah, it's got the 5, so let's pull it up to 50. Good. What hectometer are we up? What's our mile marker up to? What, is it hectometer that I'm thinking? Is that the right name? Yeah, hectometer post. 27.6. Let's just have a quick look at the map or the timetable and work out what's happening. 27.6. So we're in the 110. We're staying 110 now until 31. That's it. 110. got the name Hectometer from BRCW. It wasn't the context of German routes though. Maybe the Hectometer boasts are the ones that are in hexagons. I don't know. <laughs> 28.6. Green lights. Mosel Kern is our next routing point. Going via Kokem, stopping at Belay. Green with a double green. I'm really like, ah, five minutes. No one died though, so. Warning for 90.
still got green. Oh, look at that minus 1000 greatness. Tempting same fate, no one died before. Yeah, I know, David. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I just sling caution to the wind. 16 to Kukem. Cranky bot, you can taste that glod, can you? And show it's not just a chocolate coin. There's a piece of bee magnet there, and I've got no idea why. More greenness. 100 limit coming up. 33.2. You do love your chocolate coins. And why not? <laughs> and why not? You could have a brown medal. And in polite company, you could say it's the chocolate medal. And in less polite model company, you could say it's something else. <laughs> 34. I was warning of the drop to 80, but I didn't need to acknowledge it. You want about royal teasing again, Moggy? We had this discussion already. Something I want to do all the way through December, folks, is I want to have um, one winter scenario, a Christmas scenario, if you will, but at one winter scenario um, every day. Intermix with other stuff, um, but I want to have one Christmas themed scenario every day. So, get your uh, get your scenario making hats on, because we're going all Christmassy um, once it comes to first December. Stretch Shadow has even made some new music. Oh yeah, he has. Right, looks like we've got... This is to down below 30, so I'm down below 30. I've got to go uh, Bethel 40 through here. What on earth? That looks like yellow lights. I'm gonna go through it and see what happens. There we go. We're all right. Everything was fine. 500 hertz is off. Off we go.
wouldn't mind. No, it is. That looks very green to me. Let's just follow that green, shall we? Some speed on, got 90 kmh limit. What's a BR 155? It's a one of them. So I was uh, speeding there for just a moment. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit more negative school piling up onto the big pile. Literally just saw that. Oops, didn't quite leave that enough time. There's a yellow light there telling me about a speed reduction. I don't know where it is. Or what it is. Oops, that was what it was then. What did that say? Maximum permitted speed? I can't see it, it's covered up. Someone tell me what that error was. It was all covered up. Proceed on site. Oh, that was the triangle. Right, I see. Oh, it was a speed restriction warning that I missed again. Huxley guy, is that the uh, German uh, AWS? Well, it's a lot more complicated than German a than AWS, but yeah, essentially. Right, we're in the TSR now. Oh, I see, it's just over this level crossing. What am I going to learn? Uh, well, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's a level of concentration required for playing these scenarios that you just can't do in your streaming. More greenness now, we've got speed up. How do you make it snow? You, the weather type. You can change the weather type to be snowing. Uh, and you make it snow on the ground by making it winter. Eight point three to cook em. I'm not doing it bad. I've had two fails so far in this. That's not bad. Given the hello, given the rich possibility to fail in this scenario. Let me see if I'd missed something there. Hey Duffers, yeah, just in time for fails. <laughs>
Oh, that's a train, that's all right. Like I said, I'm not trying to get a decent score. What I try to do, whenever I play one of Yan's scenarios, is I use it as an opportunity to learn stuff. And I hope I get better each time. <laughs> We've got part two of this scenario to do later on in the week. Seventy-five minutes too much for TSL. Yeah, definitely. TSL is maximum twenty minutes. I was blowing my horn because they stepped out in front of me, to me, uh, Tommy Crewmy. The problem is I don't get better. Oh, harsh burn! Ouch! Singed. Well, I think I get better, so keeps me happy. I'm happy to delude myself. Oh, TSL. Um, the 75 minutes is fine. Yep, 75 minutes is no problem. As long as it's a busy 75 minutes. No, I thought you'd said TPTS. Sorry. limit coming up. Yeah, I've got ATS 1.5 train track trap. Absolutely loving it. Completely transformed the game. Do you want me on Discord? <laughs> Seriously. Can you wait till the end of the scenario? More greenness, 100 kmh still. Pause it. Uh, where's the message, Arnold? Oh, good. So our temperature's going down. That's good. So the uh, medicine I gave us working then. Excellent. Thank you, Arnold. She felt quite warm when, when, I, when I tested her temperature. Alright, going up via Kokam at the moment. Yes, yeah, Seifer and Peter B are both on train track trav. You know me, if it's a German scenario, it's a matter of principle. You've got to do it, do it right. Green goodness. Finally got some speed now. We've had we've had speed before. Look at that. 
minus three and a half thousands. This is actually probably going to be one of my least worst scenarios from Yan, uh, from actually, score wise. <laughs> Thanks, B. Harrison. I'm sure she'll be fine. If the temperature's gone down, like it's uh, like Sarita says, then uh, that's a big step in the right direction. Look at that tunnel portal, that's awesome. Ten point eight kilometers to the end. Yes, we're, well, we're in Railway Roundabout, which is sort of a fictional UK-style route. That's what's coming next. It is indeed steam. It's the uh, US ATCS I don't know whether you guys, if you've downloaded Old Coast Route or Old Coast Line or whatever it's called, but it's been updated, there's about another 20 miles added to it, so I'm going to try and run that on Wednesday. signal visibility. Dropping down to 80 down here. Oh, I didn't get down five fast enough. Whoops. Don't. It's 70. Don't. It should have been harder on the brakes. Oh well, fail number three. Let's try that again. That train had some real talent. The god is still within grasping reach. I know, I know, nearly, nearly. If we if we work really, really hard, cranky bot. <laughs> right, we didn't go into restricted monitoring. So we can speed up to the limit. Please don't do jokes. <laughs> do you need licensing to put a route on workshop? I'm not sure why you would. It's, you need out licensing generally for assets, like the use of logo essentially. So unless you've managed to draw someone's logo in Workshop. A 
the scenes you come out of there is gorgeous. <laughs> Jan says, Glod is 1000 only, no excuses. <laughs> Four kilometres left. Oh, we're nearly there, folks. You never bother to near a god career snow because you never get god. Ah, you see, you're missing out on so much great content. Missing out on so much great content. There's some really awesome scenarios. Stretch out Europe Bullet Station last summer. They modeled really well into yes. Yeah, absolutely. This, this route is gorgeous, really. It's done a superb job. Katie's still going on about that script. Do you think Katie might be a little bit bitter about when I trolled everybody? <laughs> I didn't see a ZS3V, so I'm assuming it's 40. Come on, get down to 70. else there so I'm going to assume 40. Got a, uh, an expect stop coming up after it. I don't know what I don't I don't think you'll like what you're implying about yourself there Katie. Diva. Yeah, the Konami sequence should always give a glod automatically. There should be no question about the Konami sequence giving a glod. Why didn't that do a speed reduction? Or is it because the speed reduction is coming up soon? I'm going to stay at 40 because it's in green yellow. I don't care what the speed limit says. Switching to the right and then to the left. I love these little markers on the ground telling you which way the switch is pointing. It's very useful. Bullet track three, which is where we are stopping. Well, I'm only a few, about seven or eight minutes late, so I'm only a little bit fired. <laughs> hey, DJSB, welcome. A 
there's a red light over there. Good night, Simon. Oh, I don't think I did terribly terrible on that, actually. Done worse. Right, let's see how we did. Yeah, badly. Let's not look too closely at the final report. Captain Jenks, thank you for the host, and welcome to Captain Jenks viewers. So awesome scenario. That was one by Yanchi Dover. Don't forget Yanchi Dover scenarios. Some of my favourite German scenarios. They're awesome. Right, moving on from that shameful embarrassment. Uh, <laughs> is S one sixty the left side? Now, what are we doing now? Railway roundabout. I think what I'm going to do is 